Hello there. And yes, you've read the title. And this is not clickbait. I genuinely believe Across the Spider-Verse sucks. Oh, and is a incredibly shit movie. Pretty bad. This isn't scripted, which you can probably tell. I just think it's finally time I bring out my points, my thoughts, since it's almost a year since this movie came out. And I want to say, I think this movie sucks. Sucks. And I've always thought it did. And I also want to preface this. I really love the first Spider-Verse movie. It's the my favorite movie of all time. Back when I watched in 2018. Was it 17? I think it was 2018. Anyways, when I did watch the first the first one into the Spider-Verse, that movie was art. It beat it out my favorite of the time, Inside Out. <laughs> it was that good. And I was hyped. Hyped for the sequel. Excited. But it didn't work out. As you can tell. This movie sucks. And I'm going to bring out some of my thoughts. First, I feel like most of the characters were pretty shit. The ones that were important anyways. There are some that I like. Most are jokes. I liked P Peter B. Parker. Even if I've watched a video that explained why he had some flaws. But, well, I still liked his scenes because the humor was funny to me. And, well, I also liked Ben Riley. Thought his whole shtick was funny. And, I la and despite a few issues regarding him, I liked Miguel overall. But, sadly, I'm not a big fan of the main characters completely. Which is weird because I liked them in the first movie. Now, I can't really speak too much about Gwen since somehow I seem to forget her the most. But I know I had an issue with her. Maybe she was bitchy. I'm not sure. I know I had an issue, but I kind of forgot about her a bit, so... Just know I had some issue with her, but I can't completely remember. Anyways, that's not important. What's important is the main man himself, Miles Morales. Now, Miles is, well, he was a really good character in the first movie. A nice underdog, someone you cared about. He was great. Sadly... They fucked him up. And really bad. Let me go over the first issue. So. And it's the one that everyone knows. So. It's when, it's when Miguel is explaining the canon events. He explains the canon events and. Obvious about, you know. The fact that a captain dies. And obviously that would include, and since, and since Miles' dad's becoming captain soon, or is, I forget, complete, a little bit about if it was he's gonna, or if he has already. But either way, captain. Which means death. And, and that sucks, obviously. And I expect Miles to be a little upset to know that, that's how it is. But, you know, what can you do, right? I mean, let's look at the knowledge Miles has at this moment. What what does Miles know about the situation? Well, back in India, Spider-Man's world, he 
Say he saved the captain of that world. And then Black Goo started happening. Now, M- M- Miguel has explained what the hell that is and how it was caused. Which means, uh, he should be realizing that, okay, with what he knows and the fact that it would be a ginormous goddamn risk to, to go against the grain, to maybe be careful, you know? I mean, it's just, it's one life against six goddamn billion. So obviously, Miles... Self selfishly chooses to go against the grain because his father, I guess, is way more important than six billion people in his own dimension. Okay, I'm sorry. That's not what Spider Man would do. I mean, like Spider Man likes to save people, but <laughs> six billion goddamn people are going to die, presumably, if. If the universe collapses. Maybe, 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 just maybe, we cut our losses and lose a loved one. I mean, Spider-Man's used to losing loved ones. Heck, Miles lost goddamn... Lost goddamn... Goddamn the Prowler in the last movie. So, obviously he knows how to take losses too. Of family members. Now, I'd be okay with this if the movie wrote wrote it like he was in the wrong. The issue is the movie doesn't. The movie very much seems to write it like he's in the right. Which isn't good. Actually kind of shit. Very shit. Anyways. Sadly, this is how it is. Miles. And then they have their fight and, you know, yeah. Honestly, I just think Miles is pretty selfish. And not, and he was never established to be this goddamn selfish in the last movie. So, what the fu- Okay. Again, the knowledge he has, he should not make that that logical step of thinking there's a way when there obviously isn't. You're risking goddamn six billion people because your father might die. Okay. Not how I would write a Spider-Man, but okay. Well, anyways... My, well, anyways. Now let's go over another problem with Miles. And that's the fact that they should never have made the spider. Miles is a anomaly point. Now, when it was first brought up by Miguel, I was okay with it. I mean, it made sense, you know. He... He was just ta- He was just saying that to bug Miles since he's kind of pissed at him right now. Trying to lower his self-esteem by saying that you're a mistake. And you weren't supposed to exist. And you know all that. You know. Since he's kind of like the, vill- the second villain of the second half here. Which makes sense. But then at the end... We find out that apparently Prowler in Prowler my in Prowler Miles' universe does exist. The one that was that that didn't get that was supposed to get the spider bite that didn't get the spider bite. That universe does exist. What? So what Miguel said was right. He wasn't lying. He was just saying a goddamn fact. So we're going against the messaging of the film, of the last film, into the Spider-Verse, where anyone can wear the mask. Now it's anyone can wear the mask as long as you were supposed to. Because I guess you weren't supposed to, because Miles wasn't supposed to get bitten. 
like, why? Why did you write this like this? Why? That doesn't help. In fact, that makes life, that makes things worse. At least with the whole Miguel, the whole thing I talked about with the can event thing, at least you can sidestep it soon of just, of just, well, you know, since I am 95% sure we'll find out something that Miguel was wrong and Miles was right all along kind of thing. So you can sidestep it going, well, hey, at the end of the day, Miles is right. So, you know. But uh, it's going to be kind of hard to sidestep the fact that it, he just was an anomaly. He just was. This universe kind of got fucked because he exists as Spider-Man in his own goddamn universe. Even though that brings up a good question of... Then was the universe Miles was in all destined to be fucked? Or did Miles getting bitten by the spider make his own Spider-Man die? Because it feels like his own Spider-Man would have died no matter what in the situation with Kingpin. Kind of seems like it would have happened with or without Spider-Miles. But, okay. I mean, we also have the issue that Miles... What, what about other universes where Miles exists alongside a Spider-Man. Was he not supposed to get bitten, or was he supposed to? What makes this specific Miles an anomaly? And they just should not have made the Prowler Miles universe exist. That was a goddamn humongous, ginormous mistake. That was a horrible idea. But okay, no one wants to talk about it. Everyone likes to praise this movie as the second coming. And great, just like the first one. Oh, it's like Endgame all over again. And maybe it'll be like Endgame where people start realizing Endgame actually is kind of shit. But, eh, that's, uh, but, you know. You know. Anyways, my big issue... Well, I've said a few big issues, but... The big issue is that the anomaly thing is stupid. And shouldn't and should never have happened. But let's go over another stupid thing. Like how <sighs> like how goddamn humongously stupid the Prowler Miles universe is. Now we don't know much about it, as it was a teaser. But I'm gonna say how goddamn unlu how goddamn unlucky this universe is. That this universe just so happened to not get any other superheroes in its existence. No billionaires, no guys frosted in ice, no gods, no aliens, no nothing, <laughs> no organizations. Nope, Spider-Man was the only hero in this goddamn universe to actually make a difference. And without a spider bite to make a Spider-Man, the, the Prowler Miles universe kind of got fucked over. And it's in a worse state than other universes. Here's the issue with me. With, well, I get this is a Spider-Man movie. They should not have made the... They should not make Spider-Man the center of everything. Like, does other heroes have canon events they have to apply to? Or this is Spider-Man only thing? Like... Do other heroes have canon events? Or, or what? Also, 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 uh, let's, let's look at the MCU, for example. If Spider-Man did not exist in the MCU, do we think it would be in the same worst to pair, prefer that the Prowler Miles universe is in? You know, no Spider-Man. Probably not because there was other heroes. I mean, this universe got dramatically unlucky. And believe me, the MCU is not the only universe in the goddamn multiverse. Which, this movie has kind of stated that basically any Spider-Man media is in this multiverse. So the MCU is canon. The 90s Spider-Man cartoon with other heroes is also canon. And other stuff. 
with the... Uh, I mean, if Spectacular is canon, then there is a good chance any guy, yeah, goddamn Spider-Man cartoon is canon. So, no, Spider-Man is not the center of goddamn everything. If he... Eh, but, okay. Maybe I'll... Ex but I'll, I'll give Miles Prow Prowler Miles a chance. I haven't seen too much of his world. I just think it's uh, kind of funny how dramatically unlucky that universe turned out to be. But my final point, at least I think so, is I'm going to go over the ca how stupid the canon events is. While I did say that doesn't make sense for Miles to dramatically sacrifice six billion people for his dad over these canon events, since it seems pretty sound what Miguel says, at least to his logic, let me use my own logic that Miles wouldn't know. That makes canon events stupid. And that's the fact that when you they should never have established this as a as anything. Rule or no rule. This was dumb because some universes just don't follow that canon. The MCU took a long time to regard to its technical Uncle Ben, which is Aunt May. I mean since the MCU basically makes Uncle Ben seem like a footnote. As he doesn't learn the goddamn... With great power comes great responsibility thing until... Until Aunt May in the MCU. But we also have a big issue. And that's the fact that while well, Spock was going through his little thing... When Spot was still in the movie. Spot had a talk with, I think her name was Miss Chen. From the Venomverse. Which means you've established that the Venomverse is in this multiverse. Do I even need to tell you why, how cosmically stupid it is to say it is to uh, insist that this verse is in the, is in the multiverse? A verse that is very widely known as the spider man -less verse. <laughs> no Spider-Man, meaning this universe has somehow avoided being black goo for a long time, apparently. Unless you're going to tell me Eddie's Spidey, which, uh, don't think he's gone through any of the canvans he's supposed to. Unless Last Dance decides to speed run them. Uh, heck, technically speaking, that universe is also a thing of of his verse. Does the Venom verse does not seem like it's in any shambles, despite not having a Spider Man. So, I guess Miles' verse also got unlucky that there was also no Spider Man themed villains in that universe either. I guess. <sighs> yeah. The more I talk about this, the more shit it becomes. This movie sucks. Sucks, sucks, sucks. And that's all I gotta say, really. I think the Canva, the Canva events are stupid. I think Miles is pretty unlikable, and I kind of want him to be wrong, even though I know he's not gonna be wrong. And... Yeah, Miguel, I, I like re relatively relatively okay. I just think that they eh, they tried to make him a little too villainous, despite the fact that overall I think he's in the right. And I will say the best part of the movie is the first half with Spot. Honestly, if you're gonna watch the movie, just watch the first half and then skip the moment the Spire Society starts being a thing in Miles's life. The moment that happens, click off, because that's when the movie goes to the to absolute shit. The only... Basically, when I first watched Into the Spider-Verse, I was excited for the sequel. When I watched Across the Spider-Verse, I was apathetic. I'm apathetic now, and at most I'm just going to see how, it, how the story concludes. Hope it's good, but with the building blocks, I'm not hopeful. As hopeful as I should be. 
But uh, there's always the hope. I want it to be a good movie, and maybe it will, but we won't know until Beyond the Spider-Verse comes out. What I will say is I'm beyond unamused. And I know people are not going to agree with me on this. But who knows? Maybe when Beyond come, the Spider-Verse comes out and it's good, maybe people will finally look back at this movie and realize Across the Spider-Verse is a piece of shit.